Greetings, Brookings Bio students. This is Mrs. Rydell, and we have one last cycle to draw as part of our uh, cycle picture. So I'm going to ask you to kind of do what you've been doing. Turn your paper uh, the long way across, and we're going to put some land, land in here, um, just like we did in our last pictures. And we're going to put some water in kind of on the edge here. And this is going to be our uh, phosphorus cycle. So I'm going to put phosphorus here. Phosphorus cycle. And phosphorus is the only cycle that does not have a time where it passes through the atmosphere in gas form. Phosphorus never exists on a, as a gas on our planet. Only cycle that does not pass through the atmosphere. So it's going to stay on the land, it's going to stay in the water, it'll be in the living things, but doesn't exist in gas form. So I'm going to ask you to kind of do what we did before. We're going to put a producer um, and a consumer. So I'm going to make a little plant here. Producer in, um, in, on the land and in the water. And I'm going to make a little consumer on the land and in the water my little consumer and make a little fish here and uh, phosphorus now is going to cycle through the cycle phosphorus is a pretty reactive atom and it usually doesn't exist by itself often will buddy up with another reactive atom which is oxygen um, and it uh, exists and uh, phosphorus and oxygen together make something called phosphates remember we talked about phosphate groups on adding onto ATP to store power um, so we're going to put phos for us in the form of phosphates in the soil. It's in the soil, it's in the rocks, it's a mineral. Um, so phosphorus is a mineral, it's in the soil, it's in the rocks. Um, and uh, it's going to cycle now. Remember the connection we had so far between um, the water cycle and our other cycles that we drew was, is runoff. And runoff is going to carry these phosphates into the water, um, phosphates in the water, and phosphates in the soil. So phosphates are going to be found in both places, and our plant now can take up those phosphates, phosphorus, from the soil, that's uptake, and put them into molecules in there, in the plant's body, uses, the plant uses it to make um, things that have, remember, phosphate and sugar backbone on DNA. Um, ATP has phosphates in it. We, uh, remember, we did uh, photosynthesis. Our uh, electron carrier was NADP plus, P for phosphorus, um, becomes NADPH. So there are a number of molecules that the plant is going to use phosphates for, and it's coming from the soil. They're going to take it up from the soil, put it into their molecules, and then it's going to pass to the consumers when they eat the plants. Just like our other cycles, um, we have uh, death and waste are going to put those um, phosphorus um, molecules back into the soil, um, return them to the soil. And we have decomposers that are part of that process. Remember, the de decomposers are going to break down our dead organisms and keep those nutrients recycling. And then, um, so we have a little cycle going on the land here. Um, and then runoff is going to send those phosphates into the water. Remember we talked about uh, South Dakota uh, going green in the summertime. Uh, one of the nutrients that's in, in waste, in fertilizer, is, is phosphorus. Um, if you buy uh, fertilizer for your grass and look at the label on the bag, it'll say NPK. It's telling you what percent, or how much nitrogen, how much uh, P for phosphorus. And K is, um, remember our uh, symbols, K is uh, potassium. Um, so how many, how much is in your, and so those molecules that are in the soil are going to be food for the, the uh, plants and uh, land plants and water plants and take up the, take up, we call that uptake and then pass to the consumers when they eat the plants. And those molecules are going back into the water when we have death or waste from the animals. And remember, as our bodies break down and decompose, 
we're putting them sedimentary we talked about sedimentary rock in the water cycle um, they're making new land and right? kind of returns those nutrients back into the land and completes the cycle notice this is the only cycle now that's not passing through the atmosphere in gas form but it's cycling through our water cycling through our land cycling through our living organisms on our planet that completes the phosphorus cycle the last of our cycles and thanks for watching